What is going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler and today is going to be an awesome day. It is early August, which is usually crazy hot, but it's nice and overcast, nice and cool. We're going to be able to get out and hit the mountain today. As you can see behind me, I've got this awesome new Kawasaki Terex KRX4 that Trail Hero helped provide for me to give me some access today. So this thing is super rowdy. If you guys don't know what Trail Hero is, it is a guided trail ride in early October here in Sand Hollow where everybody brings out their buggies, their Jeeps, their side-by-sides, and uh, they all come out and have a great time. So this thing's looking really good. We got some BFGs on here, got the Kawasaki KRX4, Raceline wheels, this thing looks rowdy. Fox Live suspension, super cool rig. So I'm gonna jump in this thing and we're gonna go access Chain Reaction Trail, which is also going to lead us into another one of my personal favorites, which is Master Link. If you wanna run Chain Reaction, there are guided trails during Trail Hero to go check it out. Let's jump in this Cowie and see how things go today. ride in hit a few rocks went through some sand didn't want to go too crazy it's not mine but uh, this cowie does really awesome so thank you very much trail hero greatly appreciated now it's time to get out and play on the mountain all right guys we made it to the trail i'm out here with my chupa capra which is a variant of a capra cage it's got all the capra running gear although mine has been highly modified vanquish axles and vanquish Transmission with Vanquish dig unit. So it's got all the goodies, UC Fab flat skid, couple Savix 1212 servos. This canyon is called Master Link. It is a real buggy trail out here in Sand Hollow and it is one of the nastiest ones around. Um, I think it's rated like 13 or 14. It's really wicked because the whole thing is a crack. And so you have to stay balanced the whole way. What's funny is most of the time you find hard buggy trails out here in Sand Hollow, it makes killer RC buggy terrain. So I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite trails I've driven out here, but I've never done a video on it. So I brought out one of my favorite cars. We're going to go run it up in here and we're going to find all the fun lines on Master Link. Starting things off at the bottom of the canyon with the gatekeeper. Unfortunately, I can't quite stay balanced in that crack over there. It's just a little too wide for the car to start with but we can always jump over and hit some bonus lines on the way up. So Master Link is no joke, and I, I've only come out here twice to run it. Woo! Only come out here twice to run it, and one of the times it was really wet and all the sand was sticking to our tires. It made it a hell of a challenge, which is fun, but uh, I wanna run it dry and see what all is possible in here, which is why I brought the rear steer Chupa on cut and shut five and a quarter inch tall 2.2 tires that I made myself on some spec RC 2.2 inch wheels vanquish scale hub hardware on there yeah pretty damn sweet I really like this car what's hilarious is this was never supposed to turn into this it just kind of happened so if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for any amount of time you know that cracks are my favorite style of obstacle and being that this whole trail is one it leaves you with many options along the way so let's talk about this car real quick it's got a dig unit in here, so I can always do front wheel drive only if I want. You can see it right there. Grab four wheel and start pushing with the rears again. It's got rear steer set up on here. Flysky GT5 controller. The uh, knob on the top right. That's how I control it. And then I've got my GoPro in my right hand, and then I pinch the knob with my right hand. So I'm actually filming and driving at the same time. It's not necessarily easy, but I've got enough practice at this point that it's kind of second nature. I can pretty much drive to my about 98% potential with the camera. So things are working out pretty good. There we go, up our first crack. And what's so awesome is it's just obstacle after obstacle. And you can run all the fun lines that you want. And then having that rear steer, I can get my rear exactly on the line that I want. 
Not that I can't drive drag axle, but sometimes just being able to point those rears where you want really helps out, like right there. Keeping it balanced as we go. See that spur gear rotating? That's always kind of fun to watch. Watch the uh, universal shafts on the incision drive shafts rotate around. So like I can do weird lines like that where I kick my rear out on top of a ledge while the front's flexed out, crab through. I can dip my rear in as I go and crab out the top. Just fun stuff. I love this car. It's super fun to play around with. So Sky RC, big sticker on the hood. They are my local hobby shop here in St. George, Utah. If you guys are in the area, stop by and check them out. They got lots of good stuff. Cody has helped my channel out a ton and I greatly appreciate all the support. Sky RC is awesome. They sponsored all of my events that I've ever run with the RC crawler competitions and whatnot. So you support the people who support you. Especially when my channel was small, he was helping me out and uh, I don't forget stuff like that. So really awesome. That's why you see Sky RC on all my rigs. But speaking of small guys that help each other out, D's company has shock bands that help hold the nose of your car down. You can see this elastic band on the outside of my shock right here. It's not a limiting strap because I can actually fully articulate the front end. However, it's an elastic band that helps hold the nose down on the steep climbs like we just went up and uh, makes it a lot more controllable, holds the nose of the car down, but I still get all my flex. It's really awesome. Check out D's company. Now these cracks are always tricky. The steeper the wall, the more difficult things become. And this one's got a vertical wall on the right and a ledge on the left. So there's not any room for error at all. So let's see if we can get her through this one. Rears already need to kind of climb up right here. Eventually that front's gonna fall out the front. Oh man, my car is the perfect width. Hold on to it, baby. Gonna fall down in the front, which is fine. That's where the canyon goes. It opens up, so if I do, that's all good. It's kind of part of the plan. So let's grab Dig, try and pull that front up. I also used a little bit of rear steer there to wedge the rear wider so that it didn't fall in as I worked the fronts. Just scrubbing that rear down. That was awesome. This car was like perfectly set up for that and it went really smooth, surprisingly. Sometimes even just navigating the uh, obstacles you find along the way, like this rock that's found itself at the bottom of this canyon. Sometimes these provide some real challenges. So I'm gonna tip this car way up and try and just scoop this front end around that. We go a little further, a little more, starting to tip over. I'm just gonna let the cage ride it out. Yep. Okay, I need to get my cage clear though. I just put that roof panel on so I can grab a front dig Start bringing that front end back around. Oh, she doesn't like that. Okay, that shows how badass this car is. It just broke that rock in half. That's pretty wild. <laughs> That's what happens when you build a car out of metal, I guess. So there she goes, up and out. Although that sandstone is pretty brittle, but that did look really cool, right? This whole wall doesn't necessarily look like there's a great line through here. So let's see if we can kind of get it up and just hang onto the ledge somewhere along the way where we don't fall off. That's gonna be the challenge is just not sliding down into the bottom. And it is covered in some light dusting of sand, so Traction is going to be a challenge. Although luckily these Hyrax and the G8 compound are doing their job. And uh, that worked out really well, actually. So, can't complain. Again, these tires started out as 1.9 inch in the 4.75 height. And then I actually took another pair of the Hyrax in the G8 compound. And I cut the four that I had and then I cut the extra two that I bought and added some tire into them. They're called cut and shut. You can see the seam 
right here and here where I added just a little wedge of tire. And basically I add as much tire as I can before the bead becomes larger than 2.2. So I basically turn 1.9s into 2.2 inch. And you're like, well, they make a 2.2 high racks. Why wouldn't you just buy those? Those are really tall and they're really big and balloony looking. And uh, I prefer this height, which is like 5.25. I just think it looks better for the scale of this car. And it's really about all the, it's about all the more tire you need. Let's grab some dig, balance this guy out. I could have ran that line entirely different, but that's how I wanted to run it. Up there, this rock is right in the middle of the crack. So then we're gonna have to drop down off in the front, up and over a boulder in the middle of the crack. There you go, that was cool. Gotta love it, man. Big old crack. You guys think that tiny little RC can do it? Let's find out. So oftentimes I record from this angle and that's simply because I can get the best tire placement from this view as a driver. So that's why you see a lot of the same angle, especially on terrain like this where it's really difficult for me. Um, I prefer to sit back here. I can drive from the front. I can get the correct steering and turn the correct direction about 95% of the time. But uh, yeah, when it comes to just like throwing down my best performance, I want to be behind the car. I don't know if this is possible. That's uh, why we're here to find out. I wonder if I turn the rear into it like that and then let her come up. Just trying to get a hook up the top. There it goes. Oh, it had it. I'm gonna let go. This is kind of actually one of the, it's a fun challenge to try and back out of when you mess something up. Okay, well, I think that may actually be a line, so we're going to see if we can get the front up and hooked and then drag that rear up. That's the only way we're going to get it out of there because it's just so steep that once that rear starts really climbing, um, it just tries to flip me over. Okay. Come on car, come on car. Ah, oh, it's right there, man. Oh, it had it. I think one more try and we can get it. Rear into that wall, dip the front into the crack. we're making that one. That doesn't mean there aren't alternate ways through and that doesn't mean that they are going to be easy either. So let's try and just take the bypass on this first crack. Although man that was so close. Like I really think there is a line. I just I'm gonna take the bypass for today. This crack on the right I can tell already that that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna continue on this ledge up here. Although getting ourselves in trouble. Yeah, that's not working out in our favor at all. And now we gotta get back up on. Now we gotta get back up on the ledge where we just were. That's why I love this car. It can take the abuse. Metal trans, metal portal gears, machine transmission gears. Metal bead locks from Spec RC. 
really high-end stuff. Those wheels are super nice. If you guys get the opportunity, check out Sky RC, who has more styles than any other RC company, any other RC wheel company that I know of. Like, there are so many. All right, that was a save right there. What do you guys think of that? Just in here sweating, man. Humidity is so bad in this canyon. All right, finally got that. That was a wicked ledge. Those stupid little weeds are gonna try and throw me off the ledge. Covered a bit of ground, had to let the GoPro cool off just a bit as it is quite warm out here today, out here in mid-August. And temps easily hit triple digits and uh, into the teens in the triple digits on occasion. Today it's nice and cool though. It only, should only be about mid-90s by the end of the day. Got those summer monsoons rolling in. So let's try and run up this. It's real steep, depending on how the rear pinches in here, it may or may not go. I'm thinking we should be in pretty good shape. Also depends on how the front wants to go. Because I can't really climb with the rears trying to climb. Got some suspension binding there. That left rear is digging a hole. So before we get too crazy, let's, I can't reach the, uh, the wall on the right side there. Woo, I got ugly quick. Damn. That's rough. I'm sure those servos are hating life in here. Let's try this one more time. Again, this view helps me out. Yeah, let's see if we can get that rear climbing. I mean, that may be all the amount of climb I need. Get the front balance back up. Right, come on, tires. Should be where they need to go. I'm just running on beadlock rings instead of rubber. It may go, it might go. Here she is, here she is. It's gonna bind up hard. Yeah, scrubbing along. Yeah, it doesn't wanna go up just yet. There she can go. All right, wicked climb. Big ugly pocket. That's like super scale for what the real buggies run out here. So that's awesome. That was an ugly climb, but it ain't over yet. We're still going up. Staying balanced. Run up that for no reason at all. Sick. That was a good one. Look at the scale of this obstacle here, guys. This is a real buggy obstacle. I mean, you got like a 20 foot wall over on the side up here. I've seen a picture of Jesse Haynes all crabbed out trying to get up through here in his moon buggy. It's super wild. It's super cool. I want to see some real cars come through here. Especially if I could hit the trail of Jesse. That would be rad. Here we go. I'm going to work the Chupacapra up the trail. Big sandstone wall and wash. We're going to see if we get the traction up here because I've tried on this obstacle before and I'm pretty sure I've been denied both the times before. But today we might get it. All right, so here we go. This wall is the least steep on this edge. And we're gonna have to crab across. And hopefully it will pull us up as we go. And it's holding so far. It's gonna, yep. Let's just try a good old shoot up the wall. About where I want to go. 
it's just that steep. Oh, 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 there she is. It's got a ledge up here, but we may be able to use the wall to just sneak around it. Come on. There it goes. There she is. Grab back around, got the fronts up. Fronts are still climbing a really steep spot though. Just scoop that ledge. All right, we got it for the first time. That was cool. We may be able to sneak up under this rock up here. We'll find out. Yeah, let's, let's get balanced. I just held on. I was a little concerned it was gonna spit us out of that for a second. There she goes. Cool, worked out. Like I said, I was feeling pretty confident. This car is awesome. Those D's bands help on the steep climbs. The G8 tires are the best for the sandstone. We had everything going for us. Um, as far as getting up under this rock, I'm gonna say that's very likely not going to happen. But we made it up this far, we gotta continue on our climb. So let's keep moving up the hill, use this little ledge here, help us along, kick the rear down. And we made it up that big climb, so that was cool. All right, just been picking away at this line off camera. Trying to find a way to get my front tire up on that rock on the driver's side. I think that'd be our spot right there. Ah, oh, I had it. Yeah, not, not enough room. There it is. Okay, grab four. Okay, that was it. Ooh, it's steep. Oh, yikes. Damn, man. I had to save my servo there. As much as I want that line, I also don't want to kill a $100 servo. Yeah, may have to take, may have to give up on this one. It's ugly. Whoa, that was wild. Damn, using the old cage for traction worked out. Jeez, here we are, one of my favorite spots. As part of that oddball tire that I'm running, the cut and shuts that are five and a quarter tall. A lot of people ask what foams I run. I actually run 1.9, 4.75 dual stage foams in them. And it creates a nice soft tire. I, re I really like a soft tire. So that's what I run. But by the way, check out this obstacle, man. This is, this is why we're here. This guy right here. Now, unfortunately, there's a big, like washed out, water formation hole that we're gonna climb up to. We gotta get to it first. But it's it's impassable. I, I don't think it's possible. But this crack is the sickest. Oh, I'm just losing it down there. Hobby Wing Axe 2800 KV, chugging along, nice and smooth, but it takes a lot of torque to scrub four sidewalls through an obstacle. So awesome. One of my favorite spots on the whole mountain right here. Just taking our time, nice and slow, tire placements, everything. 
on the small ledges and formations on the walls. Okay, this is where things are gonna get real spicy. Let's go take a peek. So this is that bowl I'm talking about that's just like impossible. Also, there's nowhere to stand when the bottom is just a V. So it, it's really uncomfortable to stand here and record. <laughs> All right. Now chase the wall around on the front and you keep the rear planted. Front's coming through. To grab a front dig and now we're going real steep downhill like there we go cars going down man so I need to avoid the hole on the left so I guess we can try and stick that tire on the left wall I don't see it happening but just keep on working it so the, the fronts are going to pop out in a second and the whole car is going to fall to the bottom. Servo's hating life. Basically got that rear axle using it as a park brake. Just going to try and cut that direction instead. I mean, I'm controlled, but there's nowhere to go. Use your rear to allow it to grab in different directions. Yep, that's where this crack ends, unfortunately. I would love to fight, figure out a way to get through here, but it's just a little too big and wild for a tent scale. For the real buggies, this is where it starts getting super wild. You got big climbs, big bowls like this, super awesome terrain to navigate. Unfortunately, it's not very friendly for the RCs because I can't climb a four foot wall with this guy. I just, I wish I could but I can't. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for Master Link. It's a super badass trail. Man, I need, to, I need to hit up my buggy buddies, catch a ride up this thing. But like, it's so wicked that the local guys don't run it that often, so it's not like a normal thing you can just jump in with. They gotta be feeling spicy for that day to go for it. Uh, but during Trail Hero, you'll be seeing guys go for it because everybody comes from all around out to Sand Hollow for that five day event. Trail Hero is one of the best weeks of the year. Early October, be sure to check it out. Thanks to Trail Hero for uh, my loner ride today to help get me access out here on the mountain. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. It was really awesome. I love coming out here. It's one of my favorite spots on the mountain. Greatly appreciate your time. Hit the links. All the stuff linked down below. There's affiliate links. There's t-shirt stuff. You can go to my website. Lots of good stuff. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.